Okay, so um, first of all, I'll go through um, how to search for the mobile app, all right? So you can, you can just type Poems Mobile. Okay. You, as you can see, there are a few um, Philly Capital icons, right? But the app itself is actually this app here, Poems SG 2.0. So if it's anything other than that, um, this is not the our the Singapore app, right? Well, Poems actually two point zero. That's the this is the app, the correct app, right? So, um, you may asking like for iPad or Android tablets, is there an app for it? Um, the answer is yes. It's actually the same app. So if you're on your iPad, you are looking for the same app itself. Just that if you are on iPad and you install it, it will just um, have a bigger screen display. So it will show more details on the iPad or the tablet. Okay, so this is basically the login screen. Okay, the top here you have the live login. Then here's the demo account. Okay, demo login. This is your account details, your account number. Okay, and then this is a password, right? So once you key in a password, you can just type live login here to log in. Or if you enable the touch ID for uh, your phone, you can click here and you log in immediately. I would like to go through the main um, navigation of the app. How do you uh, access the different features and functions? So on the top left-hand corner, you will see this hamburger menu here, the three lines, the bar. So if you click on it, you will, the menu will appear on the left-hand side. So these are all the, the different features you have in the app itself. So the hierarchy is based on the which is most important, which is most frequently used. So at the top, you see watch list here, then trade. So all these are the all frequently used uh, modules. Okay. Then the account management tab is all the account details and uh, positions and transaction history, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right. Okay. So I'll start off with the watch list first. Okay. You have 10 watch lists for every account. So these watch lists are synced across the three platforms, Poems 2.0 and uh, Poems Mercury and Poems Mobile. For the watch list, uh, when you go in, it'll be just a blank um, watch list. Okay, so to add a counter to the watch list, you can click on the bar at the top here. Okay, this bar here, right? Then you, just, you can just enter the counter, okay? So for Poems Mobile 2.0, we have um, multiple exchanges and multiple products. So it's synced with the browser-based Poems 2.0. So if you search for SJX here, for example, you're able to see that with the um, the symbol here, the asset symbol, EQ for equities and CFD for stocks. So you're able to ask uh, CFD for CFD. So you're able to select the correct one, and then you just click on it. You will be able to add into the watch list here. Okay, so what if I type a counter which is quite long and then I don't see the results, this drop down or the five results. So you just click on show all search results and you're able to see all the related counters based on what you type in here, which is capital. Okay, so you're looking maybe for capital world. So you just click capital world and it'll be added to the watch list. Okay, so to change this watch list one, to change the watch list two, you just need to click on top here, and then you can change. And then this is another set of watch lists we can add the counters in. To change the watch list name, you can just click on the top right hand corner here, edit. Then you can search, uh, you can type in my. Okay. So for the watch list, you have a. Uh, of um, the default columns here. So you, if you just hold on to the top bar here, the, the top header bar, you can be able to scroll through and see the rest of the columns, high, low, price changes, percentage change. Okay, so if you want to see more columns in one view, you can switch to the landscape view and you're able to see more comprehensively the different columns. Okay, so if you turn it back, it's three columns. So let's say I do not want to see the buy volume and sell volume here. So how do I change it? So there's a few ways to do it. Um, one way is to hold on the bar, the blue bar here on top. Okay. If you hold on the bar, you're able to see all the options for the columns. Then you can deselect, deselect them, or you can hold this sidebar, the, the three lines there, the right-hand side. You hold it. 
pull it on top here. You can pull bid us. You can pull percentage change. Okay, so once you're done, you can click done. Okay, so now you see the three columns are as per what you assigned earlier on. Okay, so the other way to change it is if you click edit here, you're able to edit. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, you can change the name of the watch list. So at the, at the bottom, you can see edit columns. So edit columns, you can see the same drop down to all the columns that um, is shown on the watch list. Okay, so the same thing here. Okay, so to, to delete a counter from the watch list, you click on the counter, hold, then you delete from the watch list. Okay, delete. Okay, so for the watch list itself, you can um, click on the bid and ask prices. Click on the bid, it will go to the sell screen, the sell ticket. Okay. If you click on the ask, it will go on the, uh, the buy screen. Okay. Another way to go to the trade. Uh, page is if you hold on to the counter name here. Yeah? If you hold on, you are, you will bring up a contextual menu of all the the different options you can do with this counter. So you have trade, uh, counter details, you have your chart, news, you have alert, stock analytics, market debt, time and sales, and TV for watch list. So these are the few key um, features that are, or pages that you want to access if you are monitoring a certain counter. Let's just go to the trade. Okay, so let's say I want to place a trade for SGX. Okay, so you can just click here. You go to the trade page, right? So to place a trade, right? Um, you 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 need to reach this um this page first. All right, then you can select your order type. Okay, limit order basically. Okay, the, this is the normal um order type. Then you select your action, which is basically buy or sell or short sell. So these actions are, it will correspond with the button at the bottom here. You see the buy, sell, and uh, short sell. This color will correspond with this color at the bottom. So before you confirm all your, your uh, order re details and requirements, you're able to see whether you're doing a buy or sell trade as a confirmation of the color. So this is to prevent you from uh, placing a uh, fat finger error, like a fat finger order. La. Basically, you press the wrong wrong side, right? Okay. okay. So if it's a buy, so you just select, you enter the quantity. So the gross value will be stated here. Okay. You can change the price as well. Okay. Then you can select your payment type, currency, uh, validity, G to D is a uh, Good to date, so it's good until a certain day. And you can see here, um, if you buy, if you press buy, right, it will tell you password must be not the MP, which basically means you have to key in your password for confirmation. So there's a double layer, right? So let's say if you I do not want to enter password, I want like a quicker order execution. Um, there's a as a option for you to disable it in the settings. Okay, so for at, at default by default, it will be enabled. So you have to key in a password as a confirmation. Okay, so let's key in my password. Then you just click buy. So once it will go on to the order preview page. So this is the page where you go through all the different order fields that you have selected to make sure that it's, 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 uh, it's correct and it's accurate. Then which then after that, you just, you can click on uh, submit here. Okay. So then after once order is, is uh, submitted successfully, you will be di directed to the order status page. So the order status page can be found at the third line, the third um, button on the, the, on the main menu, order status. So after you submit an order, you'll be, you'll be directed straight to this order status page. So from the order status, you're able to see the status, whether it's received, whether it's withdrawn, whether it's cancelled, then you can see the submitted quantity, execution, order type. Okay, so as per the watch list, you're able to customize these columns as well, right? So you can see date submitted, date received. You, know, you can just remove it, right? So at the top right hand corner, you see a filter icon. So this basically is to filter different counters or different orders that you have made. Okay, for example, you made many multiple orders throughout the day or over a few days, and you want to specifically for that certain um, order, you can type the counter name here and it will appear.
So on the top right corner here, the three dots, you're able to group by asset class or by status. Okay. So the order is submitted here, order order received, right? So if you click on it, you're able to see the order status, the order details of every of uh, all the different fields that you entered previously. Okay. So let's say you want to redraw the order, right? You can hold the hold this order. Then you can either um, uh, amend or redraw. Okay. Or you can select the same uh, order to place under the same tree. Okay. But let's say you want to redraw, just click redraw. Then you're going to key in a password because it's enabled. Okay. Then the status will be changed to redrawn here just for confirmation that this order is redrawn. So amendment is the same. So let's say click, let's say retreat here. So to amend, see so you can either hold on or you, you can click on the order status, order, 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 and then you can see at the bottom here, redraw and amend. So if you click amend, you're able to order the quantity down. So for amendment, we are unable to change the price. So if you want to change the price, you will need to submit the new order again. So we only can um, change quantity to a lower quantity or higher quantity. Then you just key in the password again. Then the order we amended here, yeah, hundred. Okay, so back to the watch list. So as I was saying, if you hold on to the counter, you will bring up this contextual menu. So for the the second uh, most visited page, basically, is actually this page is where you will visit this page before you actually place a trade. Okay. Um. So actually, counter details here. So on this details page for the counter you're able to see every um, aspect of uh, information for that particular counter. So you're able to see like the, the, de the main details as the open, day high, day low, 52 week high, 52 week low. You're able to see a mini chart here, okay? So you see your counter details here. You can see news, okay? It's all the related content, the news to the counter. Market debt, time and sales. Stock analytics, right? So these are the the the, the uh, different segments of data that you are able to access on the counter details page, right? So since you're on market debt here, so for the market debt, um, you will require subscription, right? Monthly subscription. So if you're subscribed to uh, market debt for your account, this data will be available on all three platforms. Okay. So if you subscribe, um, on mobile, so basically you are you only can subscribe the um, market debt or other live prices on Poems 2.0 web base. So once you subscribe through Poems 2.0, you're able to access that same data across the three platforms. So from the counter details page, you're able to add to watch list as well, set alerts and trade. Okay. At the bottom here, these three buttons. Okay. So I'll just briefly go through the charts. Okay. So for the chart, this is basically a snapshot of um, the mini chart, okay, the day chart for the counter. So if you want to further expand the chart, you can see a, a bottom right-hand corner here. Bottom right-hand corner, there's this uh, square. So this expand icon, okay, sorry. So if you click on it, it will expand the chart to the full chart, right? With the, all the indicators. So if you just rotate your phone, you're able to see the chart that is this. So by just doing gestures like um, zooming in, zooming out, you're able to extend the chart. And then you're able to change the different fields here. The period, you can add indicators as well. Okay. They can change the color if you wish, or you can change the, the bar type. Okay. So if you want to go back, you just need to change it, rotate it, and then you're back here. So you can go back. Okay. So at this screen, if you want to search for another counter, uh, we don't need to leave this screen. You can just click on the top right-hand corner. There's a magnifying glass here. You can see the top right-hand corner. So you click on it. You're able to do a search straight away. Okay. Apple. So you click on it. You go straight to the counter they are searching for. So the thing about this search, um, magnifying glass search option is that you're able to see all your recent searches. So it'll be safe. I'll move on to the alerts. All right. So for alerts, um, we have price alerts and order alerts. So these alerts are sent through your phone's push notification. 
Okay. So they are synced with the Poems Mobile 2 and our Poems Mercury. So once you place the order in the Poems 2, if you enable the, the alerts for your phone, the mobile device, it will be sent to your phone as well. Okay, so first thing you have to do when you log in to Poems Mobile is that they will prompt you to enable the alerts, receive the push notification for this account. Okay, on this phone. So you can click yes, but if you did not click yes, you are able to activate it by going to alerts here. Then the top right -hand corner, there's a two icon, which is settings. So here, alert options, you're able to see this about all alerts. So currently it's turned off. So I won't receive any push notifications as in alerts or, or messages, okay? So if I turn it on, all alerts will be turned on, okay? So price alerts is one field. Order alerts, they are all, so you'll be able to narrow down exactly which status alert you want to receive for the particular order. So let's say I only want receive and done. So I do not want part done. So you just turn on, turn off, rejected, I do not want, so the rest I do not want. Um, maybe amended and redrawn, I want. Yeah, so redrawn once. So you can turn it off, okay? So at the bottom here, stock account alert. So this is basically your own uh, um, stock, um, your account related alerts, your margin call, etc., etc. right? So you can turn it off or you can turn it on, okay? Then your announcement alerts basically are the general announcements that we push to the all the accounts, which if there's like a certain announcement that we want to 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 blast out, right? It'll be here under announcement alerts. So if you do not want to receive them, um, you can turn it off, okay? So uh, for order alerts, basically after you submit order, the alerts will already be filled in. So uh, it will be triggered automatically. So you will receive an, an um, order alert immediately after you place the order. Okay. So this is order alerts. Okay. So for price alerts, if you want to set a certain alert for a counter when it hits a certain price, you're able to do so here. So on, in this bar here, you're able to see add alert, right? So you click on it. You search the counter you want to set for. They are notifying me when the price hits a certain criteria. So you're able to set exactly what that parameter is for that um, alert. Okay, so when the price increased to a target like 9.12 based on hit price, ask price or last done, okay, then you can notify me when a daily change in percentage is any criteria. Or if you don't want those, you're able to do when the daily volume reaches a certain target. So the volume is the nine something, right? Okay, so once let's say I just set price alert increase to one point nine three, right? So if I click save, so you will see here we notify you when it reaches certain conditions which are set. Okay, so these are the conditions. Click OK, you'll be here. So it's untriggered. So basically, if the order is triggered, it will be a different tab will show triggered. So this means the order alert, the, I mean the price alert has been triggered. So this now was um I was mentioning about the order account alerts. So this is where you see the account alerts for your different accounts. Okay. Then this is the announcement alerts. So basically, these all the alerts that are the alerts that we sent you, uh, for like webinars, um, uh, information of certain change in uh, margin requirement for CFD. Okay, this all will be here, right? So you're able to see the alerts with a bubble there. At the top right hand, uh, at the alert tab here, you will see the bubble. Because currently, I I viewed all the alerts, so it's it's gone. But if you have alert, it will be shown here beside this. Um, it will be shown here. It will be shown here. So this module is basically um top movers, sorry. Top movers actually is, is similar to a watch list, just that is um you you are able to set. Um, a list of different counters based on the criteria. So let's say you select SGX, right? So you can see the top 30 volume of the day, top 30 gainers, losers, top 30 percentage change, etc. right? So the good thing about this top movers is that you're able to change the view of uh, the, this list, okay? So by selecting this sun on the top right-hand corner, right, you're able to change this view to a more graphical um, visualization of, of the, the different top 30s of the day itself, okay? So you click on it, you're able to see here through the colors, which one are the one that's trending, which one that are not, okay? So let's say top green ones are the one that increase the most and the, the red ones are the one that decrease the most. Okay, so the, the gray ones are the middle ones, right? 
So let's see the top 30 gainers, losers here accordingly. So if you change the market, you're able to see accordingly. Okay. So the top 30 movers uh, includes for equities and unit, unit trusts. Next one is to go to news. Okay, news. So one of the features of um, our news module is that you are able to select an option to only show you news which are on your watch list. So let's say my watch list has only SJX. So if I go to news, under my news, I able to configure this portion to only show me news when there's a piece that's related to SJX. Okay. So how you do that, you go to the top right corner, the, as usual settings, the icon here, the tool icon, click on it. You are able to see auto detect. So by auto detect, it means it only detect the counters on your watch list. And if there are news that are related to it for the day, it will be pushed to you and you'll be shown in your news module. So you can show only news about instruments included on my watch list or don't auto detect, show all news for the day. Okay. So you can do show only news. So you go back, show only news that are related to SGX. If you want to see all the, the news for stocks related, you're able to go to equities here, the second tab. You can see all headlines. You can see you can break down of the of the different um, categories, IPO news, corporate action news, etc. So if you have a futures account, you're able to see futures as well as well. Okay, and then you need trust. Okay, so another feature that I'd like to touch on is the economic economic calendar. So this feature basically shows you um, the economic events of the day itself or the week. Okay, so this can you can use this information to to base on your research and your your activity, your future activity in terms of what you intend to to buy or sell or 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 your positions that you have, right? So you're able to so there are three tests here. So your recent and next, which is um, the current events for the day. So you can see the list here. So basically, these are all the events for the today itself, sorted by the volatility. So which event is more volatile based on the event type, okay? All right. So if you click on, let's say, the BOJ governor's corona speech, you can click here. If you click on it, it will show you exactly what is this event about and how it may affect the market, all right? So this today, this is to narrow down for at least today and then the week. So the good thing about the economic calendar is that you can filter and set the exact events that you want. So top right hand corner, there's a filter icon. You select the filter, you're able to narrow down on the volatility of the events. So let's say only one high, so it's like only high. Then for the countries, these are the main markets that we selected as default. But let's say you wish to know more about the Hong Kong events, you can click on Hong Kong here or in Indonesia, either you want Japan, you can just click it, unclick it. Then we category, category all, but if you wish just focus on energy and interest rates, you can just select energy and interest rates, okay, and then deselect the rest. Okay? Then once you save, it will refresh and show you only what you selected. So these are only the high volatility events that's happening this week okay, and today, right? Currently, we are not, you're not able to select, um, to turn on, alerts for it. But that's something that we're going to add on in the future. Okay, so where the event is, is, is nearing the date or the time, then we will push a notification to you. Okay, then I'll move on to the portfolio. So for the portfolio here, this is a portfolio page. So um, it's no poems, it's um, a multi-asset platform, right? So we're able to have CFD um, tag on to it. We have a unit trust uh, as well. F uh, futures and forex. So um, for this this demo account, you're able to see that I have a uh, equities account and I have a unit trust account tag onto the same account number. Okay. So I able to see a breakdown of my of my equity balance for a certain uh, asset type. Okay. So for CFD, uh, it's currently not tag on, so I do activate CFD. Okay. But once I have CFD, it will be shown as a it'll be represented by the green pie chart in this chart in this in this um, display, okay. So let's see, I want to see my stocks, um, stocks balance and everything. I click on, on stocks, then I'll be able to see the, uh, my account details of all my stock related um, information, my balances, 
total asset value, available balance, the items for settlement, all here. Okay, then I'll see my holdings. So they are all your holdings to be stated here. At the bottom of the gray bar will be your total balance in SGD, right? And the third one, you will see your realized PL here. So this is where you see your realized PL for the day. Okay? So you have a different account, a unit trust account, you're able to toggle down to unit trust. So this is for portfolio. The outstanding positions you're able to see here as well, transaction history. Okay. Online forms are basically um, the forms required for your withdrawal, currency conversion, activation, for like let's say CFD account, and the history, the status of the forms that you have submitted. So now I'll move on to customizing the app. So basically the settings. Okay, so before I go on to that, as you may see at the bottom of the app, right, there are these five bottom, five icons here. So these are five shortcuts that we have set as the default functions that we think that are the most important or most visited. Okay, so it's watch list, trade, portfolio, alerts, and other status. So by clicking on at any screen, you're able to go to exactly where it's stated here. Portfolio, you click on portfolio, or go to portfolio. Okay. So under settings, you are able to change this um, shortcut bar. Okay, so you can turn it off if you want to have more space to see your, your watch list. Okay, if it, but um, I will suggest that you turn it off as you turn it on as this is actually a very good feature for um, you to have quick access to certain modules of certain features on the app itself. So you can you can change all five options here. Okay, to to a certain feature okay so you can go on and you can go into a uh, economic calendar if you don't want to watch this okay so that's the shortcut bar okay okay so right so uh, settings other settings the menu here uh, the first one is the points digital token so this is basically the 2fa token for our poems so to enable it you just have to agree and go through the steps okay then other particulars um, this is basically a particular your email address and mobile number okay so on the login and password you are able to select whether you wish to remember my account number or login this is for security reasons some people maybe they have a shared phone so they know how to share or their account number there but we i mean it's based on personal preference, uh, right? So you can able you can um, turn on or turn off the settings. Oops, sorry. So enable touch ID on login. So this is the feature I spoke about earlier on. So you can use touch ID to log into points mobile two point zero. So um, touch ID for up a fingerprint is applicable for both iOS, Apple, and Android devices. For iOS devices, you're able to se select, um, you're able to use your, uh, those newer models, you're able to use your facial recognition. So you can unlock with your face. But the activation is basically the same. So if you select Enable Touch ID, you can, you will, you will go through the process of enabling it on your phone. So now I selected it. So you said you want to register, I say OK. So we have to agree to my conditions, then I activate it. Okay. So there's, you just have to key in your password again for authentication purposes. So I, I successfully enabled Touch ID for this account on my phone here, all right? So let's see if I log out. If I log out, right, then I, I, I click on this button here. This is the uh, Touch ID fingerprint icon, all right? So if I just click on this, then I will put the fingerprint, recognize, and immediately you go through. So this is one of the features which is um, enable you to, to have a, like a speedy, um, login process, so you don't need to like fiddle with the the password. Okay, so that's for the touch ID. So this is touch ID. Session timeout is basically how long you want this um, the app your your session to be active, right? So by default, it's at two hours, which means if for two hours you do not touch your app or you do anything in the app itself, it will be logged off. See? So you can either select 30 minutes, four hours, or you can have no session timeout. Okay. So no session timeout means it won't be logged out at all. So for for security purposes and just for 
safeguarding purposes, you have, I mean, we recommend that you just leave it at two hours. So every two hours, you'll be logged out and then you'll be asked to key in the password again. But if you use the touch ID, it's quite um, a fast process. You can just log in straight away. Okay. So the second last one is ask password on trade. So this is the one I talk about. This is when you submit an order, you do you want to be prompted with the password as an actual confirmation? So if I click and disable, it will turn it off. So to turn it off, I will need to clean my password. Okay, so it's, it's turned off, right? So when I place a trade now, see this menu it will not show me the the password field anymore so i can just click on buy and then submit and it will go straight through see so this is the the confirmation the, the alert that i was talking about earlier so point actually 2.0 the limit order for buy 200 shares is received so this is what you get so once it's done you also receive another notification so the last one in this um, sub menu is basically change password. So here you can change your poems um, account password. So once you change the password here, it's applicable for all three platforms. So app preferences, under app preferences, you can change which your landing page. So by landing page means the first page you see after you log in every time. Okay, so for the first time you log in, you'll be shown the watch list. But subsequently, if you want to change it, let's see, I always only want to see um, news, excuse the news. Or if you want to, to save it as last view, that means where I left off the, the last time I log in. So that is, is also um, available. You can choose the option as well. Okay, I think this is what most people will do last view if you want to carry on where you, you, you left off. Since actually it's a mobile app, so you're on the go, and sometimes you you stop doing um you stop using the app and then you come back in again, then you forgot what you were at. So this is is quite useful when you got your last view page. Other than that, I think watch list is quite a a, a normal selection. Okay, watch list and last view. Okay, so for language, we have uh, three languages: Mandarin, uh, Japanese, and English. Okay. So for the team. Yes, yeah, only two themes. You can change luck and light and dark. Personally, I think dark is um is more smoothing to the eye. Okay. So for the font size, you can change it to large, right? So there's a font size. So change it to large. Okay. So I mentioned alert earlier, alert settings. So the alert settings can be found here as well. So if you have, you do want to go through the alert settings at the top right hand corner, you can just go through the settings here. And then news as well. Okay. So the new settings like I mentioned earlier in news, it can be found here. So under help, you're able to see um, the contact us details. You can see the, all the hotlines that's related to the certain asset class. Okay, you can call your broker, your, your trading rep. So his details will be mentioned here. So you can click and call the number straight away. Okay, you have a quick tour. So basically just a quick tour of all the features in the app if you want to uh, revisit or, or or go through them. Okay. And the FAQs uh, where you'll find the Poems Mobile FAQs to re like redirected to the FAQs for Poems Mobile. Okay. Then the user guide can be found here as well, the link here. Okay. So this, this is, can be found on the Poems website. So this basically is the Poems website, but it's directly redirected to the FAQ portion here. Okay. So go back. Okay. So log out, you can just log out here. Just log out. Okay, so I mentioned earlier, we have the live and demo login, right? For demo account, this is if you want to try out the, the app without um, using a live account. So you can just create, open a live account from the icon bottom here, the third icon. You can, uh, you can, you can open a, sorry, a free demo account here. So it's a 30-day demo account, you're able to use it and then try out the, the, the features without actually touching your live account. At the bottom corner here, you can see this orange block. So basically, this is a chatbot. So you're able to 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 ask just about like you know basic inquiries of the account type or or anything related to your trading account. Okay. And the bottom here, you know, can you see the bottom here? This is the basically is basically the announcements that send you as push notification. So if you click on announcement at the bottom, the white text, you're able to expand it and see exactly the announcement details. Okay. If not, they can find other your alerts when you log in. And if any queries or, or 
before you log in or at any time at all, you can just click on this the right icon here at the bottom, call hotline. So you can go straight to the to the, the respective hotlines.